In this video, we'll be taking apart the Samsung Galaxy A24. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. First, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Here's a better look at that. Now heat needs to be applied to the back plate to loosen up the adhesive underneath and then a pry tool can be used to pry the back plate off. Here's a better look at the plastic back plate. Now the camera lens cover assembly needs to be removed. The glass camera lens covers can be replaced by applying heat and prying them off. So you won't have to disassemble the phone to replace those. There are 16 Phillips screws which need to be removed. And then the flex cable for the fingerprint reader needs to be disconnected from the main board. Now a pry tool needs to be placed in between the back housing and the frame of the screen and ran along the edges to pop off the catches. Here's a better look at the plastic back housing. There are some antenna flex cables on this side, including the NFC antenna. Looking at the other side, we can see some more antenna flex cables, some graphite film top transfer heat, and a metal bracket holding the fingerprint reader to the side of the frame. The battery cable can now be disconnected, followed by the rest of the cables. And this flex cable connects the main board to the subboard as well as the screen cable. So if you needed to replace the screen, you would have to remove the back plate and then remove the camera lens assembly followed by the screws in the back housing, at which point you would have access to disconnecting the cable for the screen and then you have to lift up and gently pry off the cable for the screen from the subboard, heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath, pry the old screen off, apply new adhesive, reapply the new screen making sure you run the flex cable back to the opening in the mid frame and reassemble the phone. The coaxial cables can be disconnected by just popping them off. Here's a better look at the 13 megapixel front facing camera. There's a single Phillips screw which is holding down the main board. Looking at the main board, there's a 5 megapixel ultra wide lens, a 50 megapixel primary, and a 2 megapixel macro lens. The primary camera is the only one with OIS or optical image stabilization. The LED flash is located here, and there are rubber gaskets around these connectors. The SIM card and memory card reader is located on the other side, as well as a secondary microphone, the proximity sensor, and some heat transfer tape on the back shield to help transfer heat. Once the heat transfer tape is peeled back, we can see some thermal paste on top of the processor. Here's a better look with the thermal paste removed. There are also some thermal pads underneath the motherboard to help transfer heat away from the processor and RAM to the mid frame. In order to remove the battery, there's a pull pouch provided to help you pry the battery off.
Here's a better look at the 5000 mAh battery. There's a single Phillips screw which is holding on the subboard. Looking at the subboard, the charger port is located here, and the headphone jack is located next to it. The primary microphone is located on the other side. The vibrator motor is located on the bottom corner and is held down with some adhesive, as well as the volume keys which is located on this side. If you wanted to replace the volume flex cable, you just have to heat it up and gently pry it off. And the earpiece speaker is located on top, which is also held down with some adhesive. For the repairability score on this phone, I give it a 9 out of 10. Now it's time to reassemble the phone. Once everything's back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply the back plate. Flip over the phone. Power it on, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.